because I don't think she's gonna get up anytime soon. I'm sorry. Oh my, yeah, hey, would you two come wake her up? Petunia, you better get up. Well, hello, little Petunia. Good morning. We're gonna go today, we're gonna build you a new bed. How to, Maggie, excuse me. How's that sound, Petunia? We're gonna go build you a new bed and you just relax right here. I'm sure you probably won't even move before we get back. So I gotta go get on the tractor and I gotta head down to the back and get some things. That way we can put it together for you. How's that sound? Sound good? Maggie, what are you doing here, Maggie? We're building Petunia a bed, not you. Bye, Petunia. I'll see you whenever I get back. I know one thing for sure. The side-by-side -side gets down here a lot faster than this tractor. Kenny's out there running around. Can y'all even hear me? Alright, we've made it down here. Look at this. Lester. Let me get off to show y'all. Lester wants me to drive down this hill. Look how steep this hill is. He wants me to take this tractor and drive down this steep hill and get a bucket of sand. Oh my gosh, this thing's steep. Y'all seen in other videos how steep this hill is when we're coming down it on the side by side, but so the first thing I want to do is make sure there's none of these little stumpies where I'm gonna be digging or running over. See all these little these are called cypress knees. And they come up in the ground from the cypress trees, they're the roots. But down here they're everywhere. They're everywhere. So if you run over some of those. It's a pretty good chance that it could go straight through your tire. So, maybe there's another entrance down back over there. So I might go over there and see if there's a better spot to try to get this sand from. Or, I might just go check down at the pond, because the pond's really low right now. I just gotta make sure it's not too wet for me to get down there. But the last thing that I want to happen, look as we're going up. The last thing I want to happen is me start coming up this hill and the tractor go whoop, and just flip over. That would not be a good day for anybody, especially, especially not for me. All right, I chickened out. I tried to go down that hill over there. I got scared, but here we are. Plan number two, we're just gonna come straight down through here. We're gonna scoop up a load of sand from right about this area somewhere. Uh, try not to get stuck and then the easy part we're just gonna back up we're just gonna swing straight up through there it's not very steep this is about the safest route i can think of now we just got to see if it pans out for us the way that we're hoping it will Let me give you a little pet. Come here. Amy, come here. Amy, let me love you. Amy! Amy! Whew. So I don't know how I look for y'all yet, but let me tell you. Being down there around that pond where the ground's all like that on this tractor with... A full bucket of sand, wet sand at that. You know how heavy that this sand is? 
it was terrifying trying to go through them hills. You just constantly feel like you're just going to whoop. But thank you, Jesus, we made it. We did not flip over. So that's starting to make me wonder. Like, I know that we've stacked uh, bells of hay, like, up on top of each other and everything, like the big round bells. And I know that those are pretty heavy by themselves. And we're lifting it way up, like, over our head, I guess. So how much does it actually take to flip over a tractor? Is it good with going down hills and stuff? Like, I know I've moved a lot of hay and stuff around here, but the ground's flat. There, there's not a hill bigger than that here. Just a little bloop, 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 bloop. Uh, Petunia, excuse me. Well, maybe you'll be all right right there. Let me see. I gotta come, like, up over this bucket. Aye, aye, aye. Yeah, you're all right, Petunia. Don't worry. Don't worry about a thing. I got it from here. No problem. She's like, what in the world is going on? Yeah, I got it, Petunia. Really? You have to at least feel the vibration of the tractor. You poor little Petunia, you're just so tired. Hold, hold on, no, 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 stay right there. Oh my gosh, Petunia. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take this, you know, there's a hole here, we're gonna try to make it up kind of like a little mound. Um, and then we're gonna, I wish those geese would stop. Then we're gonna put the hay on top of the mound so that way whenever it rains or it gets wet or anything, first of all it's gonna run off um, and the hay will stay drier that way. Which it is already underneath this shed here, the Tunia's little area. But I think this will make it a lot better for keep it a lot drier and a lot more snuggled. So as y'all saw before, this area was like indented. Now we got a pretty tall mound for Petunia to sleep up on. It's a big circle. She's gonna fit on it good. Now we're gonna get the hay, spread it out on top of that. And then that should keep her dry. Have a nice comfy mound to sleep on. That's almost like pitcher's mound quality right there. Like I think I should work at a, like at a baseball stadium. Like doing the dirt and the pitcher's mound and the batter's box and the chalk. That'd be pretty cool. But no, I like this a lot more. Alright, little Petunia. Let's get this taken care of for you. Start off. Hey, go. This is Petunia's area. I'm sorry. And uh, just like the hay that we put out for the other pigs, we're not gonna we're not gonna cover her entire area. We're still gonna leave her dirt to sleep in. You know, if she wants to bed down in the dirt and cool off, okay, great. But at nighttime, if it gets cold, like it's been getting, she's gonna wanna bundle down in this hay and relax. I don't know if it's gonna take all this hay, so I'll probably spread it out a little bit farther along here. Just that way she can have multiple spots to lay. But I want it really good up on top of her hill here. Little goat, are you helping me or are you eating? What are you doing? You're probably just eating. Petunia. Petunia, your area's all ready. You wanna come see it? Petunia. Petunia. Wake up, Petunia. Come on, I wanna show you something. I want to show you something cool. It's really cool. I just now took a lot of time to do that for you. Really? Well, how long are you going to sleep? 
<laughs> For real, all day? That's not cool, Petunia. I want you to see what I got you. That's not very nice. All these goats want to see. Carl wants to see. We all want to see your reaction here. And you even got one little goat over here checking it out for himself. Why aren't you going to come look at what I did? It's not very nice, but I'm sure that this afternoon you'll be snuggled up in there. Oh, goodness gracious, little Petunia. Look, Annie, Ernie, they're all just a waiting. And you're not going to get up. You know what we're going to do, Petunia? I think I'll give you a bath later. I think I should. You look a little bit dirty. And you tell her. You tell her to get up. Tell her to get up. Do you not hear everybody yelling at you, Petunia? Oh my gosh. I'm sorry, guys. We're gonna have to wait. I know, it's an outrage, Carl. It's just an outrage. I don't understand. All right, Petunia, really, like, this is getting ridiculous. The horses and donkeys have come out just to see you get in this bed, and you're letting everybody down, Petunia. That's not very nice. Because I don't think she's going to get up anytime soon. I'm sorry. Oh, my. Yeah, hey, would you two come wake her up? Petunia, you better get up. Wake up, Petunia. Petunia, wake up. Everyone's here to see you. Petunia. Guys, I'm sorry. If y'all can do something to get her up, get her up. Hey, y'all don't go eat Petunia's bed. That's not cool. Hey, don't eat Petunia's bed over there. We just made that. Guys, really? Really? Y'all are just making sure she was asleep so you can sneak over here. Wake up, Petunia. Oh, my gosh. I don't know. I don't guess she's going to get up anytime soon, so. Show's over for now. Poor little Petunia. I think all of her hay. All of her hay is probably going to be gone by the horses before she even gets to lay on it. This is going to be a sad day for her. But I don't guess it'll be too sad because I guess she never even knew that we did that bed for her. Donkey Dan is also trying to escape. All right, we got to move on to something else here. It's starting to get hectic. And if Petunia gets in her bed anytime soon, I'll show y'all. Like and subscribe. Bye, guys. Have a great day.